What's up guys, ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, it's Daddy here with another gameplay. Uh, the game we're going to be watching is Battlefield 1, and the topic of today's video, which is kind of ironic, is going to be talking about Mafia 3. I would love to show some Mafia 3 gameplay, but unfortunately I can't because I'm almost certain my channel will get hit with a copyright strike, hit, whatever, because the great things that I would like to show, I can't show, because again, copyright. Uh, this is a game that I really, really wanted to do well, and it did do really good. However, there's a lot of areas that it, it, it fell in that I really did not want it to fall in. So I expected it to do a lot better than it did, in my personal opinion. Again, this is my own personal opinion. Uh, if you don't agree with it, that's cool. If you do, that's cool too. So we'll get started with the good. And starting with number one, the thing it got perfect was a story. It was a great story. One of the best stories I've personally ever played. And the motion captioning just went right along with it. I mean, you could even tell, like, when they were moving their mouth, like, you could see their tongue, how it just the motion caption sold it. And the story was phenomenal, especially starting out. It starts out so, so strong. You just feel like, like, you've probably already heard it so many times because there's been a lot of reviews already done. So this is a late review, but oh well. You, could, you get emotionally attached to. Lincoln Clay, and he's the main character throughout the entire thing, um, in case you didn't already know that. If you didn't, probably living up on a rock, so get out from underneath the rock. So the story was like the best selling point on it, and like right next to the story, besides motion captioning, would, would be music. Music was phenomenal too, the soundtrack. A lot of the songs I didn't know were around that era were, and there's a lot of great songs that I didn't know that... I've come to love and just completely enjoy. So the music and the story along with the motion capturing were like the top points um, with that game. Another great thing is because there's no multiplayer, I was really afraid there wouldn't be enough like content to keep you busy. There is. There's a crap ton of content. Just the story itself, I'm guesstimating somewhere between 10, 12, 15 hours to keep you busy. Uh, that's a guesstimate. Um, I don't really know. I haven't really looked at the log to see how many, how long I've played. And there's alternate endings that go along with it too. So even after you beat it the first time, you can go back through and beat it again, and you can go back through and beat it again. But you don't have to start all the way over if you don't want to. But it's just a great story, and it's a lot of content in there to keep you busy. That's just the main story. And then you also get your side quests that you can constantly do to help build up your trust between your underbosses, because uh, you have three underbosses. And that's, that's how you build your mob up. Um, another great thing they did that I thought was pretty cool was they have two different modes of driving. It's simulation and normal. Normal is kind of like the arcade version. It's not really simulation. Um, there's not really too much of a difference, but you can tell like how the car drifts and how the car would burn out and so on and so forth. So... It was a small detail. I didn't think they would. I would ever see that in a game, but um, that is something that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, that you can switch between simulation and normal. And another thing you can switch between is lethal and non-lethal takedowns. So, like, if you didn't, if you wanted to go the entire game without killing someone, other than the people that you absolutely have to kill that are completely associated with the main antagonist, then yeah, you don't have to actually kill them. But you're or gangster, so why would you not kill them? That, that, that's the question. Um, that's all the good things that I really have to say about the game. I mean, it's a great game. Um, again, we're going to go recap of, you got your great story, the motion captioning, uh, the story is long enough, not just including the, the side missions, but the story itself, just the main storyline by itself is, is a long enough story, at least, in my, at least in my opinion, because there's no multiplayer, and that's the thing that I did fear. Um, and then there's also the, the car simulation. It's a small little thing, but I like it. It's just pretty cool, so whatever. Now it's time for the bad. When I jumped into the game, phenomenal beginning. I mean, it just it was mind-blowing. And throughout the entire story, it kept me engaged as far as the story. Like, again, best part about this game is the story and the motion caption. It, goes, like, it just goes hand-in-hand. Hand. But starting with the bad... It got pretty repetitive really quick. Me and my wife played the game, and early on in the game, she even asked me, she was like, do you feel it's getting repetitive? And I was like, yeah, it's definitely getting repetitive. 
I won't even tell you how it gets repetitive except for a couple things. One is like in order for you to take a another boss, you got to take out two rackets. Or for you to take out two rackets, you got to interrogate someone. And it, just, it goes like that you got to interrogate two people, maybe four people. But it's the same exact thing over and over again. If you haven't played the game, once you do play it, because I do recommend you play it, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. It's still a fun game, but it's just re so repetitive, so quick. The animations is another thing that's really repetitive. It's the same exact animations over and over and over again. The executions are great, but then they just get repetitive. It's the same ones, and that's kind of it's kind of a bummer because I was expecting it to be different for each mission. And there was one particular mission that happens later on in the game. It's right after you get to the the capos and it's like an extra guy you gotta fight that comes in a little late and it sucks and then the, the boat mission it's another capo guy it comes in again a little late and those kind of missions were really refreshing but they were just so late that it didn't really make that much of a difference when you got to them you're like well pff, finally I got here but I wish it came a little sooner and I wish there was more of these missions to go right along with it another thing that I thought was really disheartening about this game was you're not for me, I didn't feel like I was part of a mob. I feel like a one-man army. Like, I couldn't call upon... Like, I'll use Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, for example. You could walk up to people in your gang, point them out, and they would get in a car with you and go wherever you go, and you actually fight for territory. There's no fighting for territory. Once you take over the territory, that's it. Yeah, there's retaliations, and my wife actually got more retaliations than I did, which is, again, another bummer. But it wasn't like, in my opinion, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas... Because you couldn't just keep fighting for ter territory over and over again. And I think in Godfather 2, which is a completely different game, obviously, you you fought for territory and they were trying to fight it back or whatever. I, I think I remember that correctly, but I could be wrong, so don't completely quote me on it. But you can't... I couldn't send other people to go take care of the territory or I couldn't go take care of it myself. In Godfather 2, that's what you could do. You could either go take care of the territory yourself or send someone to go fight for it to protect it. And that didn't exist in this game. And that's kind of disheartening because you're you're supposed to be a mob mobster. And I'm not even in charge of my own game because I don't really have anyone to call on. I mean, you could call the reinforcements, but they show up. It's like three people. No, it is three people. They show up, they fight, and they go away. And that's it. And that sucks because you want more people. Like, you, in my way I wanted it is... They get in a car with you, you go around and bang, 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 and it's, that's it. That's how it goes. No multiplayer. That's the next one on the list. If you're going to make a game like this, especially in the day, today's world, you you need to have multiplayer. And people might be like, well, how are you supposed to have multiplayer? There's so many different things you could have done. I mean, you could have just simply made it kind of like Grand Theft Auto. It's an open world where you could do a bunch of stuff together. Which is moving on to the last key point of why I think this game fails really, really bad. Is there's nothing to do in the world. Like, yeah, you got side missions. You got your main missions. But there's really nothing to do. Like in Grand Theft Auto, you can play golf. You can freaking, like, customize your car, customize your character, so on and so forth. You can't do that here. There's mods for your car, but that's it. You can't, like, customize it yourself. And I hate that. I really wish there was other things you could do in this world other than go from point A to point B. It's an open world game. Why is it there other activities to do? Maybe they come later on in DLC, but it's already it's already past the point where I would even be interested to play it. If there was any DLC come out, more than likely I'd just watch it online. I don't even know if I'd buy it. But to give it an overall rating, I'd give this game like an 8.5 8 out of 10. Just simply because it loses a point because there's no multiplayer and there's so, so much repetitiveness and there's nothing to do in the open world. Those, those are the biggest things that take away from the game. Is It's just so repetitive, especially the animations over and over again. It's the same exact ones. There is no multiplayer, and there's nothing to do in the open world. This has been my review. Let me, do, let me know down in the comment section below how you feel. Do you agree? Do you not agree? And I will see you guys later.